Okay, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey hoes, what's up? I need to make some t-shirts. But see this shirt, ain't it cute? Ain't it cute? I got this on, um, oops, I'm fucking up shit. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, so I got this on New York and Company because in my Discord group for my members, Shelly told us about, um, what she tells about? Oh, that um, New York and Company, girl, y'all, go look on their red line, their clearance. They got red line, $6.99, $4.99. I think I paid $7 for the t-shirt. I got sweaters for $4.99. Okay, but that ain't got shit to do with this video. So let's get to this video. Okay. So, oh, I ain't even got everything over here. Hold on. Hold on. <clears throat> Now this is going to be a premiere because I got a whole lot of damn fragrances to go through. <clears throat> but here's the thing. Let's talk. Um, this was, I, I had a certain order, but I have a funny feeling this order is going to go out of sync because I'm about to give y'all a poll. I'm posting up a poll to see which order y'all want these videos in. So I have a feeling this is going to go first. So I'm preparing myself for that. Okay. So here we go. <clears throat> This is, you know, I'm, I, for people who don't know, I'm moving. I got to move up all this shit I own. So in the process, I'm trying to video, you know, tape as much as I can. Because in a minute, I ain't going to have nothing to do content with. So I'm, I'm multitasking my, my, my chores and everything. So I need to start packing up these fucking fragrances. And I got all of these blind buys that I need to go through. And I got to be honest with y'all. The blind buys got to sort of got out of control because I shouldn't have had this many. I thought I wasn't gonna have as many, but I do. Now, um, we just gonna go through them, get y'all some notes and everything. Welcome to the premiere. Hey, get you something, cause it's gonna be a minute. I'm trying to do things right by y'all. Let's have it, let's roll it, let's do it. Come on hoes, let's hit it up. All right, since this is the good, the bad, and the meh, we always start with the bad. So I'm gonna start here. I got a couple that's not, and I'm calling them bad for now because I'm still gonna hold on them, hold on to them, and I'm gonna see what happens. Because uh, to be quite honest, a few of them I didn't get to as good as I would have liked to, but you know, um, the, the later ones, not a lot of them, I done worn and worn and worn later ones that I didn't get so much wear out of. So I'm going to show y'all some stuff. All right, hold on. Let me find the notes for this one. I'm trying to make sure I give y'all the notes that y'all want. Okay, here we go. This is a ganache. Now y'all know I like me some ganache. You know, but uh, but every once in a while, some don't work out. And this one did not work out. This is called Modern. <clears throat> this is a vanilla. So, um, JC has done quite a few vanillas. Um, I think I bought this one because I bought a few things and he sent me two or three or something. Something like that. But anyway, this is called Modern. Now, the notes on this is Fresh Air Accord, Saffron Absolute, Rose Absolute, Vanilla, Vanilla Accord, Warm Amber Accord, Leather Jacket Accord. Now, let me just tell you this. The problem with this is that leather jacket. This smells like burnt rubber to me. Now, I'm going to try it again. Oh, no, I'm not spraying that shit. It smells terrible to me. Let me just say that. It smells terrible to me. I'm trying to sit back a little more. But I got the stuff behind me. Give me a second. Let me readjust. Okay, so it's the leather and the saffron. Baby. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now, I'm going to give them a break. I'm going to give them a little time to macerate to do their thing. Because maybe they'll be a little better. But right now, this shit stank to me. Was that the wrong way to say it? Okay, well, that's just the way I feel. All right, so next up is this one. No, it's not this one. It's this one. Um, now, this one is... 
hold on. Let me get y'all the notes for this one. Let me get them notes up for y'all. Because y'all, I don't want y'all saying, but what's the notes, Louise? What's the notes, Lulu? Oh, what's the damn notes? Okay, because I just can be really off with that kind of stuff. You know how it is. You know I'm not the most, I'm not the best. I'm not always, always doing my job correctly for you all. Okay, I'm not signing into account. Ooh, but I want that one here. Ooh, well, okay, shut up, Louise. Beauty fragrances perfumes okay so i'm on drama shop because this is where i got this from okay i found the notes this is how do i say this shit um this is anna abieta anna abieta the leather avert the leather version right now i do like leather i know y'all gonna be the people new gonna be like bitch you don't like leather i do like leather in the fragrance these did fuck me up. So this is pink pepper, raspberry, juniper berry, cardamom, iris, rose, ginger, leather, amber, white musk. Uh, I don't, I, I'm trying, it, you know, everything ain't gonna work. And so this one did not. So it's a cute bottle though. Even though I hate that little dice look. What is up with the dice thing? Who else has it? Is that a little time for not? Is that what type of made this club do the new intense? I, no, they don't. Um, but who they got that little ugly look on there? Oh, I tried to spray it again, y'all. Oh, yes, it's the leather. It's got that. It's like the new car leather, but not the good leather. It's like when you get a new car, and it's got cheap leather, and it smells like almost like burnt rubber, like rubber. Ah. Oh. Oh man, that was tough. I shouldn't have even sprayed that again. Now I did layer it with right quick to see because it was I had I was about to scrub it off, but I said let me put some vanilla. The vanilla did help it out. You know, vanilla help it almost every damn thing out. So yeah, that one. No. Now, this wasn't necessarily bad. It was just a really bad disappointment for me, which was the Givenchy La Entre D Nocturnal Jasmine. Well, I can't find the bottle. I don't know what the hell I did with it. Maybe, did I throw the damn bottle away? I don't even know what I did with it, y'all. But, for real, for real, instead of me telling you how I feel about it, I'm going to take a little snippet off of my video about it. So, I'm going to put the snippet right here, and here it goes. So, it is nice. It's a nice fragrance. If you don't have any of the La Entre D's, you might like this one. However, taking it into encompassing it with the other La Entre D's, um, yeah, it's not doing it for me. It's not doing it for me at all. It's okay. It's a nice kind of jasmine-y vibe. It is... And as it dries down, it gets this kind of woodiness to it, which is not my style. It's a nice, it's nice. It's just not, it just doesn't hit on that La Entre D vibe that I'm used to, right? Just doesn't hit like those do. Okay, so that's it for um, not La Entre D, La Entre D, La Entre D. Now, let's get into, do I have any mugs? I got one. This one is kind of... Okay, I got two that are mess right at this moment. But they... Okay. Let me just show you. So, I have another Latafa. And this one is called Ektiari. Right? Let me find those notes for y'all because this is a big thing. Okay, so here it is. Now, first I'm going to show y'all something that's really weird to me. I didn't notice it in the picture on Joma Shop, but it's got some kind of black stuff in it, right? And then I said, I thought it was cardamom, right? I said, well, maybe it's cardamom because the cardamom, it looked almost like cardamom seeds, right? But they kind of, they all move together. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, I don't like the bottle. It's kind of tacky. But the, it's peach gardenia bergamot. 
Then it has white roses, water lilies, lotus blossoms, amber, musk, vanilla, sandalwood. So it's really pretty. It's like a fruity floral. It's definitely got that fruity vibe from the peach and the bergamot. It's definitely like a fruity floral. You know, it's nothing. The reason why I say it's meh, I like it for the price because it's like $14.99. So it's a good price. And it's a good fragrance. Last, it's very pretty. It's very, but it's just, you know, it's a basic fruity floral. So that's why it's a little meh. Now, this would be a great gift for somebody who likes those. You know, give them a little Middle Eastern. You want to look like you did something and you didn't, didn't spend that much. So that is okay for that, right? Good for that. Now, this one I just got yesterday. So I'm going to put it in the mask for now, but it could get better, right? This is by Gallagher Fragrances. This is called Tulip Silk. It's tulip, white amber musk, and woody notes. That's all they said, right? I bought it because, he, you know, that FOMO got me, right? Two things made me get it. I was like, I've never, I don't have any tulip fragrances. And then I thought about myself, what does a tulip smell like? I don't even remember what a tulip smells like. And then it was on sale. They had a sale and it was there. So 15% off. So I was like, okay, cool. Mm, I'm going to say man right now. And the reason I'm saying that is because I'm just not getting nothing from it. It's, a, it's like a musky floral to me. Now, people say, I read the, the few people who've talked about it on fragrance. It's like, it's the best smelling tulip fragrance. It smells so realistic. So I said, well, maybe I need to go get me some tulip oil or something. So then maybe I can relate to the fragrance. It does have, I've worn it all day yesterday. And it does have this kind of, the, the musk is there. And it does have a floral, but I don't know. Is that what tulip smell like? And it's okay, but it's not just, it's not making my heart beat. No, not making my heart beat. Not at all. So now, with me doing this, as I put these things away, these are all going to go in their boxes because I got to get, I got to move these. And the goal is to move them our, myself, as, you know, our, because I, we have a limit on the boxes we can, you know, based on our quote. And I'm not trying to take up all the boxes, you know, and I could take up a lot with this bullshit. So I'm going to move a lot myself. That's the plan. Staying. Okay. And then the last kind of, mm, it's all right. Y'all going to be surprised. Is this one. This is Elizabeth Arden Green Tea Lychee Lime. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this fragrance. However, for me personally, because you know, if you know, you know, I own almost a whole these green teas. And so this one, there is a green tea lychee. So this is basically, I, I haven't compared it, but it just made me go, oh, green tea lychee. Um, and I'm sure it's got a little, you know, zest from the lime. But so for me personally, it's like, oh, that's okay. However, I'm going to wear the hell out of it. It ain't going nowhere because it's part of the green tea collection. But it, it's okay. All right. So those are all the meds. Now let's get into the good stuff. I'm going to give this one a med though. I'm going to give this one a med. And I'm going to tell you why. It's not because I think it's a med from a fragrance. But it just doesn't last as long as I would like it to. Just a little. Just not quite. And this is this one. And even though I love the fragrance and I'm making it work, y'all. I'm making it work. But this is Sunscape by Perlescent Parfums. Love the scent. Oh my goodness. The scent is gorgeous. Um, the fragrance, now what it has in it, they call this, they have melon, brown sugar, lime, ginger, solar notes, incense, vanilla, sweet orange, van violet, oliban, and frankincense, bergamot, and lupin, which is a fragrance, which is a floral. And they say Texas sunshine. And that's exactly what it is. So it's this really, really well done melon fragrance. And it smells so good. And it's got the sweetness. I love the scents and I do layer it. It is in one of my layering combinations, my summer layering combinations. I should put that in the cards. Maybe if I remember to do that shit, I'll do it. Um, 
but yeah it's a really good fragrance it just doesn't last that long now do i care that much absolutely not but i'm saying it's a mad because you, you know some of y'all motherfuckers be looking for it to last like 37 37 hours and 52 minutes so i'm just letting you know that it's not gonna do that for you you're gonna get maybe a good four hours and then you're gonna have to refresh but i'm okay with that i'll decant this and spray myself again okay here we go I think I sound like this because I'm slightly hungry. I'm hungry, y'all. I haven't eaten breakfast yet. I'm trying. Well, I had a little, whatever. Stop. You don't even care about this shit. Okay, let's go. Let's keep it moving. All right. Now let's hit on some good ones. I got some good ones for y'all now. I got some good ones for y'all. I don't know if y'all ready for my good ones, but I got some. I'm trying to get y'all some notes up. So this one is, did I put it over here? Did, oh, I did. We're going to start. I'm going down the list. This is White Honey by Perlier. Now, I absolutely got this on a great deal on um, HSN because HSN is the one who has these. But I got this. And this has got sorbet, tangerine, pear, lemon, raspberry, floral notes on the top. And it's got geranium, apricot, orange blossom, wild rose, lily of the valley, honey vanilla cedar oh this is really delightful and lovely for the summer now i actually have another um perlier golden almond these do really well together but this is a kind of it's got a lot of fruit in it it's like a sweet the honey is not super syrupy sweet it's just a really delicate honey it's like a white honey so it's fruity and got a little sweetness from the honey and it's got a few you know a little floral in it but it's really like a fruity honeyed up fruit with a with the beautiful floral in it the florals do come out in the beginning but as you wear it it becomes a little sweeter on the skin and then of course it's got that kind of like you know slight woodiness that cedar brings it down so it's just not over the top just feels like you're wearing some kind of something you should be spraying on your grandkids but it yeah so that's white honey i gotta find all these bottles okay next up we're gonna do is this one how come i be looking around and i know i picked up some shit for this and then i can't find it oh here it is all right, so this one is Yalang Yalang Nosy B by Paris Monte Carlo. I'm starting to really like this house. I got to watch myself because I be trying to buy up everything. But anyway, this is Yalang Yalang Nosy B. It's a very challenging fragrance. I would not tell anybody to get this blind by it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I'm back. I had to put on some lip gloss, y'all. I was like, I'm sitting over here bare lipped. I mean, you could give them something, give them something, give them something, give them something. Okay, so the thing with this is that it has Yalang Yalang on every level. So you have to like Yalang Yalang. But this is a really, this is a tough fragrance to really get into. It has Yalang Yalang cardamom, grapefruit lemon, and then Yalang Yalang jasmine, orange blossom, rose, Yalang Yalang vanilla, labdomum, vetiver, cedar, field scabious now so you really have to like your line line because it's very strong and so it's a yellow white floral and it's a really interesting fragrance got a little spiciness to it a little you know tartness from the citrus it's a really interesting fragrance it's great to layer with some stuff too um but I don't say this is for everybody, even though I think it's a good fragrance. Last on the skin. If you are, if you like something like this, it'll be really good, but it could be just a too much for you. Just a too much for you. <laughs> oh, that was bad grammar. All right, next up is this right here. <gasps> oh, no. Y'all know, y'all know, did I do a whole review on this one? I don't think I did. So we just gonna have us a little lovely moments with this. So we know that I love me some musket garden. Well, now I've got the lovely garden and this damn thing is so good. It's insane. Okay, so this is spicy and sweet. 
and it, it this is like all kinds of vibes wrapped up into one it's got a little spiciness it's got cinnamon and mandarin orange and pink pepper on the top so it's got and it's got and it's got incense in it so the incense is real prominent because that's on the bottom but the incense is prominent so it's like spicy and incensey and then it's floral because it's got turkish rose and orange blossom and tuber rose then it's got a little sweetness because it's got toffee in it you just really have this is so good i should wear this today because i'm on my way out and i think i am gonna wear her today oh child ain't nobody ready for me today ain't nobody ready for me Ain't nobody ready for me. All right. And then we have this beauty. She's stunning. She's a, she's an icon. She's a legend. Okay. Um, but yeah, so this is La Belle Fleur Terrible, which is the newest La Belle from Gautier. And I really need to get that new La Scandal. Scandal. La Scandal. Okay, but anyway. I love it. It is not. I don't think everybody. It does have the. I ain't even doing all that. I'm going to put some of my. Uh, yeah, you know what I'm about to do. I'm about to give y'all some of my. What I said about it in my video. So we're going to put that in. When I put it on, you get that water. It has a watery aquatic vibe to it. But as you wear it, you get that juicy pear note. So I. I get that juicy pear vibe from it even though they don't say pears in here it definitely has this juicy fruity kind of pear vibe to it now that water lily gives it that aquatic vibe and then you get the iris and so it has a powderiness to it and it and it's sweet and it gets sweeter as you wear it it is it is beautiful it is slightly different, but still very much the LaBelle DNA. All right, so y'all know how I feel about her. She's stunning, she's flirty, she makes my day like me something. She, come on through, LaBelle Fleur Terry. So that's that. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna do all of these together because they have a vibe. They have a fucking vibe, y'all. So, I have a thing, if if you're unaware of this, I have a thing for Francis Kirkjohn as a perfumer. However, I like Francis Kirkjohn when he's doing other people's stuff. Okay, it, it, so I like that because they're always more inexpensive, right? So here is one right here. This is called White Soul Gold and Diamonds by Ted Lapidus. And this is a Kirkjohn. John. And so this has Neroli and Mandarin Orange, and it has Jasmine Sunback and Orange Blossom, some Amber Heliotrope and Vanilla Orchid. This is kind of inexpensive, under $50. And this is exactly what it says it is. And it's kind of tacky. It's a little tacky bottle. I could go with my tacky bottle thing. But it's a little tacky, but it's good. So it's really strong and rich. And it's, you know, it's like this beautiful, deep, seductive floral. Because it's definitely a white floral. And then it's got that amber in it. It's slightly powdery, um, but just really kind of juicy on the top. Mm, mm, mm. Very good. So that's why so gold and diamonds. Then I have the La Carmen. So I had La Carmen La Absolute. And then I was able to get hold of Carmen La Parfum. And so we're going to talk about this one first. And I really like this one. It's real good. So let's just talk about it. So this is another Kirk John, and this has apricot, white hyacinth, and mandarin blossom. Then it's got sweet pea, jasmine, and ylang ylang, and osmanthus, patchouli leaf, and sandalwood. Now, somebody's gonna watch this, and I'm gonna retract what I told her. This is not like La Absolute. It kind of vibes, they have the same kind of vibe to them, but different. Because La Absolute is more citrusy, juicy, sexy, this one took me a minute to get into. I'm not even going front. But this one has the more sweet, 
apricotty stone fruit kind of vibe to it but it is real pretty so these are so nice y'all i am not even going front no more this is really good so yeah it's got this kind of like apricotty but floral it's not like sunshine because it's more floral apricotty it's real good it's sexy too okay so who i forget i think danit cheney i think that's who it was okay so i lied you should get this one it's good i'm not even going front no more okay so that's that one then this one honestly of the two that i just got this one was the one that kind of was like oh yes baby yes i'm looking here because i just had it no okay i did see it this is low de toilette oh that's the wrong one this is low de toilette now for some reason I've been loving this one, baby. Okay, so this is carving Love de Toilette. Oh, this is so nice and beautiful and bright. Once again, Francis Kirkajan. This is Sweet Pea, Lemon, and Peony, Freesia, White Hyacinth, and Wisteria, Musk, White Woods, and Sandal. This is so darling this time of year. It is just a pretty girl fragrance. It has the, you know, just... It's got a little tinge of citrus, that little tartness, but it's just a really pretty floral musk. It is so cute on. This is like one of those things that I just want to wear. I don't know why I was looking up the notes. The notes are on here because this is a tester bottle. Tester bottles do come with tops, just so you know. And it's just so pretty. It's such a pretty floral woody musk. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, so then we got that one. We got that one. Let's hit another Gallagher. the last so this is vanilla silk because apparently there was a silk thing before i knew about gallagher a silk series so this is vanilla silk this is vanilla white amber musk and woody notes this is quite the interesting vanilla um <clears throat> it is not for everyone but if you were interested in an ambery musky vanilla that's exactly what you're gonna get. And it's really good. Um, so yeah, this is, and it's a, a, so it's definitely a vanilla, but it has these amber musky vibes to it. So you really have to be into it to be into it. So then that's that. Okay. So I'm trying to go through, how's the back of my head look? Do I look crazy? Let me know. Okay, so then let's hit. Did we talk about this already? I got in a shine 800 silent ways. It's really not a blind buy, but I just want y'all to know this damn thing smells so good. It's a peachy tuberose. It's peachy. It's, been a, it's so sweet. Damn, this shit smells good. Okay. So let's go back. What's the next one we're going to do? Okay. Let's go with vanilla vibes. Y'all all know this. This is a salty vanilla really cute for the summertime it's a it's a it's a cute summertime vibe everybody if you if you've been around if you is around if you don't okay so let me just let me just give it to you this is julia has a guns vanilla vibes this came out i think last year really cute it's a vanilla it's salty vanilla it's got salt vanilla orchid tonka bean sandalwood musk and benzo and so it's a really really nice salty so if you like a salty vibe this is a really good rendition of it it's cute a nice little salty vanilla this is good to layer with things i will be using her a lot i think this was a tester and it had the cap cap because it was really super inexpensive that's how i wound up with it now let's talk about my very first margella my first maison margella And this is Mutiny. So this is, first off, it's by Dominique Ropion. 
What a what a fabulous person. Hey Dominique. So I know it's me. So this has so this one I've worn a few times. I really I know I like it a lot, but I just really haven't gotten my finger on it yet, my thumb on it. Um, but it has it's a tuberose and it's a really interesting and I liked it because it's not one of the replicas. It's such a pretty bottle, eh? But it has um orange and mandarin orange. Tuberose, pear, peach, orange blossom, apple, pink pepper, and saffron. And then it has vanilla, leather, patchouli, and ooh. See, see, I like stuff with leather in it. It's just the leather got to be right. So, y'all, my whole video was stopped because of child abduction on the earth. That stuff be freaking me out. Is it just freak you out? This shit freak me out when you when you all of a sudden your phone is taking over. Huh. So anyway, this is Mutiny by Maison Margiela. It's a really nice tuberose. It's this fruitiness to it. I really enjoy it. I haven't quite figured it out all the way, but I know I've worn it a few times, uh, two or three times. And I was like, okay, she cute. But I can't give you the full, full on her, but I'm just letting you know she good. She's good. And I think Joss has her talked about her. I think somebody else might have her. Maybe Veronica says. I'm gonna tag them both. Maybe they could tell me. Y'all could they could tell y'all about it. But I do like beauty. <laughs> Let me see what else I need to do. Oh, let's get in some shit now. Okay. We getting into some real stuff now. We getting into some real stuff. Okay. So then we got this one. I was looking at Serge Luton, right? And I was looking to get one of the ones that's on my list, which is Un Boivini, Ambre Sultan. I tried Santa Majuscule recently, which I'm going to do a review once I move. And I don't know, I'm good on that one now. <laughs> But then I saw the notes for this one and this said, bitch, you need to try this one. This is called Fils de Joie. This is jasmine, night blooming jasmine, honey and ylang ylang and musk. This is low key, a really sexy vibe. This is, you know, it's the honey. Let me tell you what it vibes like. It vibes like, you know, like Shergi kind of vibes unisex but leans a little more masculine this is the feminine floral shirky with the more because it's got a rich ass honey in it but then it's got the ylang ylang which is super prominent the jasmine and this must baby this is low-key sexy now, it's not for everybody. You got to have an attitude for this because this is going to not to be your average sensual. You know, it's not going to be, a, you know, that vanilla or anything. This is sensual and seductive in a way that you ain't ready for. That's all I'm saying. You got to be that girl. You got to be that chick, that guy wearing this one. Hunty. 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 Okay, so the Amber Lee, uh, <laughs> the Amber Alert keeps coming through and kicking me off. So we're going to see if it is. So anyway, this is Fils de Joie by Serge Luton. But now that we're talking about sexy fragrances, let's pull these bitches out right here. Because these bitches took it out. Out, 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 out. Now, I have been hearing, I have been hearing, I have been hearing, and I finally got a good deal on these. This one in particular, and then I just had, after trying this one, I just got the uh, another one. This is Rosendo Matu, number five. Hey, hey, you see that reflection up in there? This is number five. It's called, it says Floral Amber Sensual Musk on there. You see that? Okay, now what it says it has in it is, top notes are exotic floral notes and spices, it has carnation lily of the valley, amber, musk, and vanilla. And that is exactly what it is. It has this spicy floral vibe going on. And then you get that amber and that musk. This is so sensual. 
Oh, she's good, y'all. She's good. She's good. She do it for me. She's good. So this is Rosendo Matu number five right here. I mean, I could go on and on about it, but I actually have a short that I put on here the other day. So y'all could just go and look at my shorts to see what else I had to say about. But yeah, this is a gorgeous, ooh, sexy floral amber. Then after that, then I saw this one at a good price. And this is number six, which is Jasmine Sandalwood Oriental Musk. And that's exactly what it is. The Jasmine is just mm, seductive as hell. The Jasmine is seductive as hell. So you get this Jasmine with the Sandalwood and a Y'all. Oh, goodness. I'm just, I'm just telling y'all, shit's good. It's good, 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 good. Okay, so now I think I've done all of those. Is this what I, oh, let me hit these, then I'm gonna hit these collections I got. Got some front of me. Okay, so the next one is, this is from Veronica, from Veronica Says, and this is, St. DuPont's Essence Pure. She sent this to me. It was a nice little package. Thank you so much again, girl. Thank you, girl. Thank you, girl. Anyway, this is so good. This is like, it has a fizzy quality to it because it has bur mandarin orange, freesia, and bergamot. So it has this kind of fizziness to it. Like, you know, it's like, you know, like it has a fizzy quality to it. And then it's got jasmine. So it's a floral, it's like a amber floral. It's got some jasmine and rose, patchouli, vanilla, amber, and cedar. This is something like light and bright and airy and cute for the summertime. This is a cute summertime fragrance. It is not going to offend anybody. It's going to give you just, just you know, pretty girl vibes. It's going to give you pretty girl vibes. So this is really good for that. Plus, I like it for, I, can, I have some stuff that I want to layer with it, play with it. But yeah, it's just like this light, airy summertime vibe that I really like. So there's that. Then I got this from D'Angelo. He finally sent it to me. Thank you. He know what I'm talking about. Some of y'all do too. This is Frank Boclet's Cocaine. And this is a tuberose. And this ain't for everybody. Because this is a straight up in your face, kicking your ass tuberose. So don't play with this one. Do not play with this one. Mm-mm. So let me give y'all the notes from this. This is a caramel tobacco, bitter orange, and red berries, tuberose, lily, and orchid, manoy oil, vanilla, and patchouli. Now, honestly, the, the tuberose is so tough in here. This is this. If you don't like tuberose, don't get this one. Don't wear it. Don't wear it. Don't try it. Don't try it. It's got a smokiness. You can definitely get that tobacco vibe because it's like a smoky tuberose. But the tuberose hits you in the face. It's be like, Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Give you that like a punch. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know that you know that jab. It, it jabs you. <clears throat> jabs your ass. That's what it does. I don't know why I'm so animated today, y'all. I have no idea what's going on with me today, but it is what it is. Okay, so that's cocaine right there. All right. Now I got a few things, like a bunch of stuff from a two, three houses. So I'm just going to pull them all together and we're going to just talk about it. So let's start off with Ganache because we already talked about him and made him look bad. So hey JC so we, you know, I, I kind of dissed him. So speaking of Ganache um, as I talk about these, go on the website and see what you find because Ganache is shifting JC will no longer be the creative person behind it and it's going to become an inspired house but he's not involved with that part of it so don't be don't be coming from a boy but anyway so here we go here we go oh i gotta take care of my plants so these right here let me tell y'all about these right here i'm starting right here with these two so i got vanilla ones from him so let me pull these out because let's talk about these three vanillas and then i got three more to talk about baby this is called dark this has, let me see what the notes are. Citron, spice accord, vanilla bean, vanilla cream, French vanilla. So this is a spicy vanilla. And 
It is good. So this is, so I'm saying all this to say that some of these are still available. They're going to be selling them off. Go get these. Dark is a spicy, sexy vanilla. So if you are a vanilla kind of sore when it comes to your fragrances, you need to just have these. Now you might not, ain't nobody going to have them but you. But you gonna wear these and you what what are you gonna do? Let's say it together. S O T H stunt on the hose. Say it with me. Stunt on the hose. Do it again. Stunt on the hose. I'm about to feel it. Let me get out of there. Because I was about to stay there for a minute. I was about to stay there for a minute. So then we have this one. I don't think I got the other ones. Oh snap. I gotta take let me do these too. Let me see if I can find them right quick. Now, this is the one, though. Oh, baby, this is the sexy one. This is the one. This is warm. Why is this coming through when I did a, uh, what's the name? When I did, what is going on? This is warm. It has plum accord, moonshine accord, vanilla bean, cardamom, incense, wood pulp. This is so damn sexy. It is a boozy smoky plum vanilla uh. then i have classic and this is a classic vanilla this is nice too though this is citron orange blossom rose vanilla vanilla bean patchouli tonka bean so it's like a citrusy you know it's got a little citrus vibe to it so it's like a a citrusy vanilla but it's it's seriously classic vanilla so the tonka bean and all that it's really coming through really sexy on the skin so if you like a classic vanilla that's it then i have this one this is called rose and this is i gotta go check because i might have fucked up some y'all so this one has let me give y'all the notes from this and this is really good this has Moroccan Rose, Rose de Mai, Turkish Rose, Rose, Saffron Absolute, Saffron Tincture, Marshmallow Core, Black Currant. So it has like this, it has like a buried, um, the way it comes off on my skin is like a buried spicy rose. So it's a spicy kind of black currant that kind of sweet, um, that kind of black curranty vibe. That's what it is on my skin. At first, I was like, mm, I'm not sure, but then I got sure. I got sure, honey. I got sure. I got sure. I got sure. I got sure. So that is um, rose. Now I have two more, and I really don't need to go into the notes if I don't have, because I don't have them, but I got to see if I can snatch them right quick. Give me a second. Okay, so here's the neck, the last two that I have from him. Did I pick them up? I did not. Oh, I picked up one, but I don't know where the hell I put it at that quick. This always happens. Okay, so this is five miles to empty. Now this is a pistachio one. This has toasted pistachio, pistachio cream, orange blossom, blood orange gelée, magnolia blossom sandal. This smells so Okay, so this is like, you know, like Ganache is always known for doing very kind of literal gourmands. Well, now he's taken one, which is pistachio gelato, and then created a more um, perfumey. Um, he says a five-star dessert. So this is just delicious, delicious. And then this one, which is called Undone, if I can find it. Don't you hate when you're moving shit around and then you just misplace things that quickly? Oh, I didn't. I never picked it up. Ah! This is Undone. This is 100 meals, y'all. Okay, so this is Leche y Galletos, which is one of my favorites. This was the one that I fell in love with my very first order from him, Leche y Galletos, which is milk and cookies, right? So this is bitter almond, rose, almond blossom, heliotrope, tonka bean, sandalwood, coconut milk, iris milk, a core. Now I'm telling y'all, these are still available. So if you, sounds good, get it. Yeah, so this is um, a very, you know, it, as opposed to being like super milk, milk and cookies, which it was very lactonic. This has a slight lactonic, but it's, and the almond is gorgeous, but now it has the florals in it. So it's a creamy floral, undone. I'm undone by it. 
I am undone by it, okay? So those are all the ganaches that <laughs> just I got recently. <laughs> okay, now these just came and I'm just gonna go over them right quick. These are Francesca Bianchi's. Couple of them I've already tried, that's why I picked them up. But um, we're gonna I'll go over them right quick because I'm about to put them on. So it's like almost a mini haul. And um, yeah, the blind buys and first impression. Blind buys good, the bad and the mat. So I'm throwing these in because of that. So I can put these because I'm not shut your mouth and just do your job. Just do your job for goodness sake. Okay, so let's talk about this one. This is Lux Calm Volupte by Francesca Bianchi. Let me show you. I was I want to get in a tester bottle of this. Got some really good deals, honey. So this is Lux Calm Volupte. Now, Francesca Bianchi has a she has a DNA. She really loves like she has this kind of like animalic vibe to a lot of her fragrances. This has it. So the top notes are bitter orange tangerine. It has galbanum, tropical fruits, yulang yulang, hyacinth. Then it's got iris, benzoin, vetiver, aquaponics, and sandalwood. Now let me just be honest with y'all. When I spray this on, I get this slightly, I know everybody gonna be like, here we go with this bullshit. Cat pee vibe from it. But it lasts very, very fleetingly. The thing with this is, is that as it sits on your skin, it becomes even more beautiful. So like I could, it's like maybe a minute with the whole little cat pee vibe to me. And that's only, let me put this, be honest. It's only if you get up in here, like, cause I was like, in the air, it is lovely. It has this kind of sweetness, that tropical fruit. It has this fruitiness to it and florals baby this is so beautiful on i mean i'm gonna wear it again a few more times because i haven't worn it a whole lot i've only got them this week but i promise you this is so beautiful oh, oh. so yeah it's got this fruitiness to it got this kind of deep rich floral and as i was wearing it it became even more pretty on my skin so i have been talking a long time i'm noticing how long this damn thing is about to be what the fuck? I gotta count out how many fragrances we talking about today. Cause it's a lot of these bitches. It's a lot of them. Okay, then we have, um, and I have not worn this one again, but I'm just gonna mention it right quick because I do love it. I've tried it on before and that's why I wanted it. It's a True Skin Water. This is a True Skin Water. I'll take it up for you all to see. This one is very much so, very classic her style. But this has, like, to me, it does have this kind of watery vibe to it, but not really. It's like a citrusy, watery vibe to it. Let me just show y'all, because I'm not taking it out. So that's the True Skin Water. You know, hers come in 30 mils. Um, I was able to get really good deals, um, so that's why I purchased them. So this is Oak Moss, Ambergris, Oris, Bergamot, Immortel, Pettigrain, Vetiver, Basil, Musk, Labdamum, Caraway, Jasmine, Grapefruit, Tangerine. Now, I'm be honest with y'all. This ain't for everybody. This is not one of the fragrances that I would say, oh, yeah, just go and get it, girl. No. I would say, go and get it, y'all. Go and get it, y'all. No, hoes. Hoes. Listen to me. This is not that fragrance. But I like it. And it's really, and it has a, a slightly aquatic vibe to it, but not really. So it's a citrusy aquatic, but yet got this Francesca Bianchi, like, deep, sophisticated elegance to it. That's how it rolled. Now, let's talk about this one. This is called The Dark Side. Let me show y'all. This one's good too. This is definitely fall though. This has got a fall vibe, but this is the dark side right here. This is spicy and honeyed and got a little incense or so smoky. This is good, y'all. This is incense, honey, Styrex, 
spicy notes, iris, amber, violet, patchouli, vanilla, sandalwood. It has her classic powdery note to it because she does have a, a, quite a few of hers have this kind of powdery vibe undertone to them. So it's slightly powdery. It's got this like beautiful sweetness to it. Yes, spicy and smoky. Yes, this is so good. And then as it's drying down, you get that woodiness. The dark side. Am I here? Then we have the Lover's Tale. This one I tried because I had some sent to me. Kelly sent me some. Ke Kelly, Kelly, Kelly sent me some. Who? What's, what, what was that on? Kelly, 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 Kelly. I can't remember. Oh, that was on Cheers. That's what it was. <laughs> so this is the Lover's Tale. And I tried this on. This is a leathery vibe. See what I'm saying? I do like leather. Okay. So this is Honey Mimosa Aldehydes and Bergamot. So this is like a this is another one that's powdery, but it's got the castorium. So it's very animalic, but yet just, just sensual and really beautiful. This is definitely unisex. I This would be sensual on anybody, baby. Anybody, yes. But yeah, it's got, but it's got that castorium. So it does have that animalic. So just imagine it's animalic, powdery, a little leathery. It's got a lot going on. It is really gorgeous, but it's not for everybody. Like Francesca Bianchi is definitely not for everybody. She's definitely got a style, definitely got a vibe. It's very elegant and very cultured to me. It's got a little, it's kind of refined, but it's not for everybody. You just, you really have to try her out and find the one. If you, you know, try her, maybe you'll find something, but she, yeah, she's not for everybody. Okay, so let's first talk about, um, we're gonna, the last ones we're gonna talk about is Dream House Akirio. Vincent, 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 Vincent from Dream House Akirio. First off, let's just talk about the fact that Vincent has been putting out some fragrances recently. Irritating my fucking soul because I can't afford them right now. Because I'm buying shit, I got a house, all this stuff. I, I, I just can't afford them right now. This really irritates me because he got a bunch that I still okay but now with that being said i got some new ones so i'm going to order and how they wound up what's this one see those some am every time i go in this motherfucker i see some more okay so let me just go back here so let me show y'all what i got and let me tell you about them so this is the first one. i had to find the notes for y'all this is the first one he sent that i that i ordered it's called white rabbit now, if you see it, look look far away. You can't see a lot, but right here you can see it says White Rabbit. Now, let me tell y'all something. I was mad at him because I thought he just slapped something on here and didn't even give me a label correct. And then Jerry had to show me. It says, no, it says White Rabbit because I was irritated with Zaz for quite some time. I was like, he just threw this shit at me and didn't do it right and everything. So I apologize, Vincent, for all the thoughts that was in my head about your ass. Okay, okay, okay. So here we go. White Rabbit. White Rabbit is like a gardenia, and this is how I started out because I, y'all know, I've been on this gardenia uh, trip. So this was uh, Datura gardenia, caramel, honeysuckle, vanilla, amber, bergamot, pear, jasmine, orange, lavender. Now, for the people who do not know, you really need to try Vincent if you like unique kind of otherworldly, slightly gothic, very sophisticated fragrances. Be, they're very bewitching. Everybody, ain't nobody gonna smell like you wearing something. Ain't nobody gonna go, oh, they smell like mm -mm, not wearing no bits and shit. You gonna smell like Dream House of Curio. That's what you gonna smell like. But anyway, it's a white floral. And in the beginning, it was a little tough for me, honestly. I had to wear it a couple of times before I really said, oh, this is good. So what happened was in the beginning, I was just, it was just a little strong in your face, punch you in the face with this sharp white floral. But as you wear it, it dries down and it becomes this beautiful kind of florally gourmand and it is lovely. So that's what it is. So it's like got a sharp punch in your face, white floral. If you don't like white florals or you kind of like, mm, this ain't for you. 
just ain't for you. So that is um, White Rabbit. I absolutely love it. it, but I ain't gonna lie. It took me wearing it like two or three times before I really could say, ooh. And it's one of those fragrances, don't hit you like this. Give it time to warm up on your skin. Give it time to like really get with your chemistry. Mm, yes, child, yes. Okay, so then Vincent had a, I talk about this, like, keep my best friend and shit. Like, we cool like that. I, you know, Vincent don't know me like that. Huh. Okay. I'm just like, well, Vincent did this. So, he had a buy one, get one free set sale for, I, th I can't remember, was it his birthday? No, it was a Curio's anniversary. So, he had the sale, right? And then he had put up some new shit. Well, some old stuff that he had brought back and everything. So there was a few that I wanted. So the first one that I wanted was this one, which was, is, is this it? Yes. Sugar Ring. Oh my goodness. This is Peach Brandy, Immortel, Costas, Amberwood, Nutmeg, Stargazer. If that, it's a peachy, boozy, vanilla, select. This is so good. If you like stuff like that, it smells, and the thing about Vincent that I love when he does stuff that's sweet, he he balances it out so well that it's not like tutti fruity. It's not. It it's still elegant and refined and classy and classical. It gives this kind of like you know very high brow vibe to it. So this is like a, a peachy brandy, a boozy brand, a boozy peach with um a little spice and amber it was so good yes and so then the next one i picked out was let me give y'all this one that i got so then the next one that i picked out was ghost dance right here it's a beautiful bottle look at that bottle that bottle is cute okay so now i got ghost dance um and let me get those notes for y'all because i was like oh yes yes this sounds so good so then I got Ghost Dance. And then Ghost Dance is Blackberry Tobacco Oud Whiskey, Tolu Balsam Costas, Musk, Sugar, Kumar, and Cocoa. Now I've been letting it sit for about a month. Mm, this smells so good. The blackberry is so sweet and juicy. And then that tobacco and oud and whiskey. So it's like a boozy, um, berry. And then the tobacco and the oud. Damn, this shit smells good, y'all. This is so then that was that. Now those are the two that I ordered. And Vincent was so kind that he sent me another bottle. So let me see if the bot if that was still available. Hold on. Okay, so this last one is not available anymore, but it was on the site. And it was called wait a minute, it might be on here. Hold on. Yes, it is. It's still there. So this one is called Corona's Dead to Song, right? Now when I saw the notes on here, I was like, oh, I passed it by. I was like, oh, okay, I don't know if I want this. It's called, it's got water lily, carnation, chrysanthemum, ivy, moss, autonomous notes. So when I saw it, I was like, oh, okay, whatever. I am so glad he sent this to me. I did not know I needed this fragrance, but I did. It is this gorgeous, woody floral, but it isn't, like I said, like a woody floral you would expect to try out let me spray her i wore her like two or three times y'all because she was so good she was so good she was so good oh man i mean it's like so it's so um unexpected i know what geranium smells like because i've always had geranium oil because geranium oil is really good for the skin and the hair but i didn't expect this it was like when i saw ivy i saw moss i was like mm, no but it's perfect. It's got this greenness to it. It's like a beautiful green, like it sounds like a, it's called a crown for saints. And it has this beautiful mock green mossiness to it that blends perfectly with the florals. And it's just this, so the florals are strong and beautiful and the green that ivy and the moss does something to it that makes it just, like gorgeous this this one thing this is like i wear this all year because it's got this it's such a powerful and beautiful floral very classic very refined very elegant i could definitely see like 
you know, like the matriarch of the family wearing this. And you still would want to wear it. And, and, and as a kid, I would want to sneak it and get it from her because it's so pretty. You know what I'm saying? This is like you could see the matriarch of the family wearing it. But as a kid, you would want to wear as a little girl, I would sneak and wear this. Try to get it from her because it smells so beautifully floral yet green. All right. So that's it. Now I done talked my ass off. This thing is going to be long. I got to do some editing, y'all. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Um, just know I'm going to put out as much content as I can. Share me out. Subscribe. Comment. Do all those things to keep pushing it out. As Because I don't know how soon I'll be back to filming. So I'm filming as much as I can. We're going to push out all this content. Y'all going to keep seeing my face. Because it is Tuesday, July 26th, is it? Tuesday, July 26th. And I we got to pack up and move this house by Thursday, August 4th. So And I got to finish one more class. So far, my classes are going good, y'all. I got two A's and a B so far. Almost had that A, bitches. But, okay, got one more class. Huh, and a whole lot on my plate. All right, y'all. Talk to you later. As always, be bold, be brave, be fearless, be free. It's been one.